What's up, you guys? It's your girl, the Supreme Scorpio, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be attempting to do my own hair for the first time. Now, if you've been subscribed to me, you know I say in almost all of my videos, I do not know how to do my own hair, but Beauty Forever sent me over this wig, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna give it my all. I'm gonna get do my best on it, and you know, I guess you can say, like, it didn't turn out too, too bad. Like, I've definitely seen worse, so I just wanna give a special thank you to beauty forever for sending me over this wig all the information for this hair will be in the description box below so you guys can go ahead and just click down there if you want to see more info on it so yeah i'm gonna stop talking as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's just go ahead and see how we got to this little beautiful moment here okay all right you guys so this is the hair straight out of the box and they sent me over a 14 inch pre-highlighted t-part wig and i don't know if all t-part wigs come like this but this one came with like this little mesh material over the little closure area so i just ended up cutting it off because honestly it was unnecessary i guess you they put it there because you could install the wig as is but i needed to bleach the knot so it was just going to be in the way anyway i think it was like a little wig cap material i don't know that's what it looked like after i did it and I completely forgot to press record on my camera, but all I did was mix 30 bottom developer and like some regular bleaching powder and I started to apply that to the closure area of the wig. And honestly, I wanted to use 40 volume developer. I thought I had some, but all I had was 30. I just wanted to use 40 because I knew it would kind of process the hair faster. But yeah, this part kind of just had me a little nervous because I was so scared that I was gonna mess up. Like this is my first time bleaching enough on literally anything. So I was just kind of nervous doing this part, but I guess you could say it came out okay so this is what it looked like after and I just set this timer for 10 minutes and honestly I probably could have set the timer longer than 10 minutes but I just felt like 10 minutes was like the safest bet because I didn't want to like over bleach the knots but now that I think about it if I over bleached it it probably wouldn't have mattered anyway because the hair was already highlighted but yeah this is me right here I'm just trying to see if the knot started to get any lighter and honestly now that I'm looking at it I could have just probably just bleached that little middle part right there because the rest of the hair was literally just track so i probably didn't even need to bleach that whole area but it's fine so i'm just checking it and honestly i couldn't even tell if the knots had got any lighter or not so i just ended up washing the hair off anyway and that's what it looked like after i washed it i don't even think you could tell a difference of whether or not i bleached it to be honest it still looked the same to me so this is when i started plucking the hair and this is probably one of the hardest parts for me like plucking i don't know if i don't have the right tweezers the right technique or what but this part is really the hardest part but thankfully I did not have to pluck like a whole hairline like a frontal it was just that little area right there so I just did the best I could just a little pluck one two one two just to trying to get it to look probably just as natural as possible so it won't look like too wiggy like too much of a closure so yeah I was just plucking around the hairline around the areas that was a little bit more dense and I really couldn't pluck too far back because it was tracks like literally right there and this is what the hair looked like after I finished plucking it. Not really much of a difference, but it did a little sum sum to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, you guys, so it is the next day and I just let the wig dry overnight because I washed it and this is what it looks like dried, absolutely no product on it. The wig is still super soft. It was shedding just a little bit when I was um, combing it through, but really nothing really wasn't anything too crazy. I kind of expected it to shed just because it's bleached hair and like, you know, when you bleach hair, your hair is going to shed. So yeah, right now I'm about to slick my hair down and we're going to go put this wig on so i'm gonna be you doing the ball cap method i have the ball cap right here and i also have the got to be glue free spray and the got to be glue gel as well so i'm gonna go and slick my hair down and put this cap on real quick and we're gonna install this wig and we're just gonna see style her up and see how she looks okay so yeah <laughs>
All right, you guys, now is the moment of truth. It's time to put the wig on. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. So this is what it looks like. It's looking good, feeling soft. And the only thing I'm really worried about is the parting area. Cause like I said in the video earlier, I really kind of feel like I probably should have bleached the knots a little bit longer. I don't know. I just didn't want to go over 10 minutes and then mess it up completely. The next thing I was like hair falling out and stuff like that. So I don't know. I think I'm, I'm going to be able to finesse it though just a little foundation or something like that but this is what the part looks like with the knots obviously it needs to be plucked but i'm not gonna be really worried about that right now so i'm just gonna go ahead and plop her on and let's just get to installing and styling girl let's just see how she comes out and i have my mirror right here off to the side so if you see me looking off to the side that's what i'm looking at okay so let's just do it and it has the adjustable straps in the back right here on either side and it has three combs in it i think i showed you guys earlier it has three combs in it so yeah let's just let's do it let's hope it fits let's do it <laughs> all right all right i already feel like i'm giving somebody mama like i already feel like that's what it's giving like who mama is that like who auntie is that okay so it's on all i did was put the um straps on in the back because it felt kind of loose so i just put the straps together in the back let me pull her down where's my little comb my little comb okay let's see let's see let's see okay so far she's giving flats okay no bulks at all i'm gonna use some got to be loose free spray to install this part up here and then yeah that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> that's what i'm gonna do okay so i'm just gonna take it i'm gonna use this little comb right here and i'm just literally gonna spray right where that part is hold on i really don't even know how this color looks good it looks on me like i don't know like usually when you try like a highlighted wig like a color wig like you just like oh this is gonna look bomb but like i honestly don't know how this looks on me we're gonna see maybe it'll grow on me once i you know finish styling it styling it up and stuff let's see let's hope it grows on me because right now i'm not feeling miss mamas all right so it's gonna take it Spray her down like so. All right, she's on. And I kind of, my vision for it is to do like that lip bob thing. Like, I'm going to insert a picture. Hopefully, I'll find one. That like, it's like the ends of the bob are like flipped up. I think that hairstyle is literally so cute. And I've been wanting to do it for the longest. And I was like, why not just do it on this wig? I think it'll look really cute on here. Especially with the highlights in it. So, let's just see if I could execute that today. I'm just trying to see where this will lay should i add mousse to it yeah 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 mousse right that's what that's what you add the ways right mousse yeah yeah let's see if i have any mousse hold on <laughs> i'm giving very much mom right now very much um jailing your mom's outside like it's fine though it's fine okay so i found the mousse i found this in my mama room so this is what i'm gonna use today so i'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my hand and I'm just gonna smooth it over the part area because I think this is what's gonna help it lay a little better, okay? I'm just gonna do it like that. Let me get the bag. I'm gonna have to definitely fix this part because she looking a little crookiana, okay? <laughs> she looking a little off. So, boom, just like that just like that the mousse has done amazing like just like that wow okay now let's just go ahead and get into styling the actual wig oh my gosh this is so difficult lord that is cute not the bump i was looking for but you know we'll get there we'll get there this is more of like a soft curl on the end i need like a bump come on got it 
It's not horrible. It's not. It's definitely not giving Flip Bob. It's definitely not giving Flip Bob. But it's giving something. It, it, it's giving something. Y'all gotta bear with me now. You gotta bear with me, okay? It's giving something. So, we just... We... <sighs> We just gonna keep going. We gonna keep going and if it come out cute, it come out cute. Yeah, that, that's what we gonna do. That's exactly what we gonna do. Don't think about it too much, too much, too much, too much. There's no need for us to rush this through. Money got my whole family going back with that. Don't think about it too much, too much, too much, too much. Oh. done what I'm about to do actually is do like two little um baby hairs right here just cuz I just feel like right here just kind of need something it's just like kind of bare right there you know what I mean so I'm just gonna take um a rat tail comb and I'm just gonna do two just two little baby hairs nothing crazy right here and I'm just going to um, pluck it just a little bit so it could look almost as natural as possible. Okay, I'm just going to put a little mousse on it just so the hair can behave. And I'm going to use a pair of scissors and cut downward. Ooh, I did it. <laughs> okay, now let's see if we can lay these baby hairs. All right, let's see if this side gonna look good first. I'm gonna put a little mousse right there. I'm gonna take an old toothbrush. Boom. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Working with a little some. Nothing crazy, a little shum shum. Okay. Okay, so I have the baby hairs done and they don't actually, they don't really look that bad. You can't really see them because the hair is brown. But what I'm about to do actually is I'm gonna go in and just kind of fix this part. And I feel like once I fix the part, then I'll be able to like kind of just fix. Why is people texting me? Like, leave me alone. I feel like once I fix the part, then I'll be able to kind of just fix the rest of the hair. Because right now, I don't really, I don't really know what she's giving. The whole flip bob thing, I feel like it's not working out because the hair is kind of long. I mean, it's only 14 inches, but I don't know. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. We're going to... We're gonna figure her out. We're going, we're, we're gonna figure her out. So let me just fix this part real quick because it's driving me insane. And then we'll just get back to styling the hair, okay? I'm gonna take the hot comb and just kind of press it. Ooh, press it down so it lays flat. 
Okay, so I'm going to take this concealer by ColourPop right here. This is their No Filter Concealer. This is in the shade Dark 40. And I'm going to just use this. Hopefully, it doesn't look horrible. Hopefully, it's not too light. I'm going to use this to... um define my parts i'm just going to use this like this angled eye not eyeshadow brush angled um eyebrow eyebrow brush right here i'm just going to get some concealer on there and hopefully this makes it look better so let's just see i'm trying to keep my hand as straight as possible Ooh, did that do it or mess it up? I don't know. Hold on, hold on. This is straight, right? This looks straight. This looks straight. Or am I just trying to tell myself that to feel better? <laughs> to feel better. This is straight, right? Okay, so I think for what it's worth, I feel like just for being a beginner, like, I feel like I did okay. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do about the rest of the wig. I just really don't feel like going back in and recurling it. Like, I don't know if I love or hate it like this. Like, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm just like, okay, it doesn't look that good. But at the same time, it doesn't look like horrible. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go like put some makeup on and put myself together. And we're going to just give a final review and final verdict of this wig. And let's just see if maybe I like it more once i get myself all done up so i'm gonna see you guys in a little bit okay <laughs> all right you guys i'm back and this is the finished result honestly like i'm not even gonna lie i'm not mad at it like i'm not mad at it i had to put on this little this little brown fur jacket that i got from first 21 last year because you know it was just giving me very much cozy mommy vibes this hair it was giving me very much cozy mommy vibes and i just feel like it looks real cute you know what i'm saying i thought it was gonna be too much brown because like the backdrop was brown and this is brown but you know it's not really bad like it is giving it's definitely giving so yeah this is the finished result like i'm not mad at it for my first time doing a wig i can honestly say i did not do that bad even though it was like a closure wig i really didn't have to do too too much work but it really was not that bad honestly an honest review on this hair y'all know i'm gonna give y'all honest review so far the hair actually is holding up pretty well the hair is hella soft and for a pre-highlighted wig that's a lot to say because sometimes all the bleaching and processing that they put the hair through can kind of make the hair lose its luster and its whole you know body and stuff Stuff like that but the hair is actually really soft i washed it i bleached the knots and it's you know it's still good so if you're a beginner you're looking for like an easy wig to get into like to ease your way into wigs this honestly probably wouldn't be a bad choice for you honestly that's coming from me of course you're going to see how the hair holds up over time i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video enjoyed watching me try to do this wig and have it actually turn out decent i'm more surprised that it turned out decent honestly so yeah if you enjoyed watching as always don't forget to like comment and most importantly hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video bye